What's up guys, it's your boy the Piscean Predator. I'm back with that TPP True Crime Talk. And we're gonna go ahead and jump in. Well, before we do that though, can you go ahead and smash the like and the subscribe button? Help me grow this channel. Give me the algorithms. Give us some more interaction down in that comment section. Thank you. All right guys, before we, uh, we get into it, I really wanted to cover this trial. I really did. I had planned on covering this trial, but the Murdoch trial took precedent over this trial. And the trial we're going to talk about now and what's going on is that XX Extension trial that's happening, right? And for now on, I'm just going to address him and refer to him as X because his name is too damn long to be saying. And uh, if I use his regular name, a lot of people aren't even going to know what I'm talking about. So that being said, all right, guys. This case, I'm kind of glad that I didn't really have a chance to cover the trial because I've gone back, or at least cover it live, because I've gone back and watched it as it's going down, and it is, it's probably one of the worst trials I've, I've seen. I mean, one of the most boring, and why, why it's boring is because, dude, prosecution, defense, all of it, like, nobody seems like they're ready. Any day that the, the trial is going, like no, there's sidebars, it's crazy. It's a bunch of, it's crazy, it's BS. That being said, I don't feel like I'm missing out on much. And especially since there's like real no mystery to this case. Man, we know who killed him. We know who killed him. We know what three people were in on it. At least the three active ones, right? There still might be some speculation out there that, you know, that these guys got information by somebody else who knew the ex was going to be pulling out money to go buy the bike. All right. And for those of you that don't know about this situation, this case, this trial, this murder, um, X, uh, X, 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 Extension is a rapper who was murdered. Um, he was, uh, basically he went and pulled out money for a new, uh, bike. He was going to a motorsports in Florida to get the bike. And basically when he's coming in to get it, driving in, he gets cut off by these three individuals, right? To where he has to stop. They get out and they rob him. On the middle, and the, during the robbery, uh, one of the men ends up shooting him and killing him, right? This case is, is on, in, all, in my, <laughs> In my opinion, it's, it's open and shut. I mean, this is it. These these dudes are done. Um, they got video of it going down. They have witnesses, right? The person that let them use the car, or at least, I shouldn't say let them use the car. They basically had rented a car through one of their friends using a rental type app, I guess it is. So they, they were able to track the vehicle. They've been able to go and recover uh, ammunition with the same ballistics that were used in the murder and then one of the guys is turned on him right so one of the guys is flipped state witness and it's it's open and shut dude this is done man these guys are done absolutely done and they should be they should be like how stupid are you man one you killed somebody dude like for real you kill the dude sitting there unarmed you kill them like for what? Why? For that 50 G's and spend the rest of your life in prison? And more than likely, bro, more than likely, you ain't going to have a good run in prison, honestly. You just killed somebody that was making massive moves in the music industry and was loved, absolutely loved by all of his followers. Like all the people that follow him, listen to his music, loved his message. Dude, I would hate to be you. I would hate to be you. Definitely, man. Like, these guys are just ignorant. Like, straight up ignorant. The the way that they went about this crime, like, they left evidence. They, they're, like, everything you could do wrong setting up a premeditated robbery like this, they did. That's it, man. They have all the evidence they need to sew this up. Like, they have all the evidence so hard, right? that the defense was literally trying to use the Drake beef to say they had something to do with it to slow down this the whole process or gum up the whole process. Like, man, 
it's it, it, these dudes are done these dudes are done all three of them will go the one that's that's riding he's still gonna do he's still gonna do time but these other two they're done 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 so a defense can stall it all they want the, the case can be born as hell but at the end of it these boys is doing time a long time and if they're smart boy they better be watching their backs dude because you guarantee up in the pen dude guaranteed there were people that were listening and loving an X. And you know how that is, man. You know exactly how that is, dude. Do that dude dirty like that. You boys are gonna get they're gonna get special treatment in them prisons. That's for damn sure. But um yeah, that's where I'm at with this case though. I mean there I mean it's pretty simple, dude. It's pretty simple. The only thing that we don't know at this point is how these dudes found out for sure. For sure knew that he was gonna have that money, right? So, outside of that, we know who did the crime, we know who pulled the trigger, we got evidence, both video, ballistics, like, it's a wrap, bruh, it's a wrap, man, I don't know, I don't know if any of y'all are following the, the trial, I don't know if any of y'all have a different opinion than this, but I'm pretty sure most people that are watching this, it's a sealed deal, um, yeah, so, I mean, that's pretty much all I got on this on this trial if anything crazy happens pops off i'll definitely jump on and cover it once the the verdicts are read at the end of this trial i'll definitely cover it but uh, i just wanted to jump on here real quick because uh, yeah i feel like he, he needed coverage i'm not seeing a lot of true crimers covering this case and i don't understand why i mean this this kid was amazing like he was an amazing artist it wasn't my my type of music but dude he's loved i know my, my, I didn't realize it when I was talking about this case. My daughter was like, oh, she knows, she she likes it. Like she she's like a fan. So, yeah, man, I don't know. It's sad. It's really sad, dude. Um, the kid the kid had such a bright future, and uh, yeah, absolutely sad, absolutely tragic. But um, yeah, that's it, guys. That's all I got for this one. If you guys want to leave me some comments down there, tell me what you think about this case or fans of his music, X's music. Um, yeah, just hit me up. Let me know. But that's all I got for you guys right now on this uh, this trial. Hope you all have an amazing night. It's your boy, the Piscine Predator, and I'm out, y'all. Peace.